Hello, Cancer viewers. So I'm going to be looking into what your person's feeling, thinking, wanting. Um, remember last reading I did, I was getting that there might have been some witchcraft or some type of magic involved or just some type of manifestation where you were manifesting the person that you wanted into your life. Um, and they were choosing you over like a job or like a karmic relationship or something. There was some type of energy that was keeping them away from you and they decided to put you first and, um, you know, choose you over that energy is what they were wanting to do. They were wanting to, to move past their ex or past some past energy for you. So let's see what's going on with your love life now. Okay, so for cancer viewers, tell me what is going on with your love life. What's going on with your love life, cancer viewers? So for the people that will be drawn to this video, please show me what is going on in their lives. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Devil, Nine of Wands, hmm. Seven of Swords, all right, interesting, Four of Swords, okay, Eight of Cups, I almost feel like your person was making a lot of progress towards you a couple weeks ago, and now they're kind of slacking. Because this is some very serious energy. I'm wondering if, like, their ex came back, or the karmic came back, or, like, if there's just, like, arguments or miscommunication between you. Because it's a lot of serious energy I'm feeling here. It's like the Eight of Pentacles. You're kind of trying to focus on yourself and your projects and what you want. And, um, you know, public rec recognition, success, you know, power, like, people noticing you. Um, you're trying to focus on that energy, but maybe the ways that you're getting attention right now are not the best ways, but you're trying to get this person's attention. So it's like, you don't care how you do it. You know what I mean? It's like, you want this person to notice you. So it's almost like that energy of like drunk dialing somebody. It's just this energy of conflict. So whether it's like your person might be in conflict with the karmic right now, um, or in conflict with you, there's just like this energy of conflict right now. Um, and like this very heavy kind of intense energy that I feel from this reading. Okay. So I have two different stories here. It looks like, um, let's see for some of you, this is referring to what he's going through with, for those of you in karmic situations, this is referring to what he's going through with the karma right now, where it's very hot and cold, very unstable, very chaotic energy, where they're fighting a lot right now. Um, and with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands here, it's kind of like he's trying to get her, and he just wants attention. He wants to be loved and understood, and he's not getting that from her. And so with this double energy, they might be like drinking or drugs or like some type of escape, like just some type of chaotic energy. And it's like a very unstable relationship very hot and cold, back and forth. Um, and with the nine of wands here, it's like he's trying to be strong though. You know, your masculine is trying to like, your masculine is just trying to, to be strong and he's going to succeed in the end. He will get through that energy, but it's like very, like if you look at her, how serious she is, you know, like she's pissed, like something's going on with them where they cheated on each other or they're arguing with each other and the truth came out. It's just some chaotic energy. So this is the first group. For those of you in karmic situations, this reading is referring to what's going on with the karmic right now. Um, so yeah, just very unstable um, energy. And it's like seven of swords right here, this like dishonesty and escape. And also it's almost like a come at me, bro, kind of energy, like just this, this challenging power struggle, chaotic kind of energy that I feel. And the masculine is almost like retreating and they just like, they feel isolated and alone and they don't want to do it anymore. They don't want to be in this energy anymore. And, um, it's almost like they had to go back to see what they didn't want or they had to 
It's like it's like a codependent relationship. It's like they're trying to let go and be with you, but it's like they don't really know how, you know, they just they seem stuck. Um but they're realizing they don't want that. And with the Eight of Cups here, I think that they, you know, move forward and, and want to start a new life with you. That That is where their energy is, is heading. Um, it's almost like the ex must have, like, seduced them or said or did something to, like, draw them back in. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, for others of you, this is you and your masculine. And you guys are the ones that are having, for the other, the second group, you guys are the ones that are having these fights right now. And you're kind of like trying to focus on yourself. You're trying to be in the public eye, but like with like the devil card, it's like you're doing it in kind of a toxic way. It's like you're trying to get his recognition and his attention, but you're doing it in like, you're just getting frustrated with like feeling invisible or feeling like being left on red by him, that kind of energy. So you're trying to come up with other ways to get his attention, but they're not like the best ways, but you're trying to be strong, but you're pissed. And, um... With the Seven of Swords, you're just kind of like, screw it, I'm tired of this, and you just kind of like are exhausted with this, but, you know, you guys decide in the end that you do want to still see if this could work. So that's two different groups that I read. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, right, what is your masculine's actions, most likely actions? Um... towards you. What is, what's your masculine's most likely actions towards you? Let's shuffle those. Oh, that's too many cards. Nope. So what is your person's most likely actions towards you? What are they going to do next? What's going to happen with you guys next? What is your person's actions towards you? Two of Pentacles, so yeah, it would be a karmic situation, trying to juggle something. Something from the past. I mean, it could be like a job or work. Like, a third party isn't always a karmic relationship. It could just be job or work or, like, career or, like, you know, family, like having, like, a second family or um, just past energy, just something that has to be, like, balanced and juggled out. So we got Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, Death. So it's a good reading, actually. It's pretty good overall. Uh, Death and then Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Get some clarifier cards here. Clarify this energy after the Death card, because this is the past and this is the future. I like how the Death is like right in the middle. It's interesting how that worked out. That's the karmic that's that's ending. It's the karmic situation. So please clarify the new energy between you two. What does that energy look like? High Priestess of Earth. You know, forbidden honesty. Okay, so that's pretty good actually overall. Um, so with the Two of Pentacles, I think this is this is all about the karmic or whatever situation they were in before that was holding them back from you. Um, it's like they were trying to balance, they were trying to juggle, they might have been trying to talk to you, but they were still with her um, or him, however that played out. And it's like they, they did want a new life, though, with this with this person. Um, you know, they did want, like, this new start, and they were looking at things in the long term, but then they realized at a certain point that they were looking at something that was dead and over. They were looking at, they were putting their energy into something that was not actually going to go anywhere. Like they wanted, she's looking at this skull, you know what I mean? It's like this person wanted something to go somewhere that was just not going to go anywhere. And they finally kind of started realizing that. And this situation is kind of over, but I feel like, I feel like it hasn't, it's still chaotic. You know what I mean? It hasn't fully died yet, if that makes sense. And then you come in and you're the queen of pentacles. You're like this stable, confident, successful woman. Um, 
And I feel like they're they're once they they still have to work through this past energy though. Whatever this is that's been holding them back, this past energy, they still gotta work through it. But with the Knight of Wands, I think that they're coming in strong. I think they're passionate about you. I do. Um, I do think that they they do have love for you, and I think that they are wanting to be close to you. But it's again just familiarity and all this confusion with this karmic. But you know they are wanting to build something with you. They are wanting more. They are wanting to like leave this in the past and let it die and be done with. Um, and then again, for others, this is just like the way your relationship has been. It hasn't been stable and they're wanting that to die and they're wanting a better relationship with you. Um, but for a lot of you, I think it's a karmic situation where they're wanting the karmic energy to just be all that, that person to be done and they want to start over with you. And with the Nine of Pentacles, I do think that they're coming in, um, you know, not quite as a king, but they're coming in as a knight towards their um, their queen of pentacles. And they're trying to be stable financially and, and successful and kind of match your energy and impress you and um, and let go of this, this karmic energy. And they're trying to be grounded. I think this was a situation that was like forbidden before. Like maybe there was a karmic and they could, he couldn't text you because she was around. Um... Or there was just something that was like kind of off limits to him regarding your relationship. And um, again, for some of you, it's going to be that, you know, the karmic was around. And so it's like he couldn't text you and he's going to be honest with you about that. He wants to talk to you about that and be honest about what was going on and kind of just move forward with you. Um, for others, I think it was almost like he for, like was forbidden from like opening his heart. It's almost like he felt like your relationship was so unstable and it's like it, it just... The way you guys were talking or not talking to each other made him really unhappy, but he's going to try to open himself up to you more and have this like honest, vulnerable kind of heart to heart talk with you and, and see where that goes. So, so yeah, that's the energy we're in right now. Um, let me know if it resonates you guys. Thank you for watching.